question about this lesson 3.2, how to actually work the calculator. So this is not a lesson on the homework, although I will be looking at it. This is an, um, a lesson on the calculator. So I did add a link to get to the Decimos Scientific Calculator. So this is the Scientific Calculator for Decimos. And let's say we're trying to, let's go back to this assignment, um, we're trying to find the, um, the angle whose sign is 5 ths Let me say that again. We're trying to find the measure of the angle. That's what this gray box is here for. We're trying to find the measure of the angle whose sign is 5 ths So when I'm looking at my, my Decimo Scientific Calculator, okay, I see sign here, but that's not going to help me figure out the measure of the angle that is equal to 5 ths So what I'm going to do is hit the function button and you use this button, the sign to the negative one. So when I click the sign to the negative one, then I put my 5 ths in here. This is the measure of the angle whose sign is 5 ths Now, one thing you need to keep in mind is let's pay attention to this degrees and radians. This radians is in terms of 2 pi. That's a completely different number than our degrees. So make sure that you're paying attention that this calculator shows in degrees um, or any scientific um, calculator that you're using. And most of them will have a sign to the negative one, but that's how we're doing this. You're not using the sign button, you're using sign to the negative one or the inverse sign. So that's simply how you do that. When you're trying to find, again, when you are trying to find the value of the sign, the measure of the angle, whose sign is 5 ths Now, if I were just simply going to be finding sine of 30 degrees, clear all. So if I was just doing sine of 30 degrees, sine of 30 degrees, and that one's going to equal 0.5. So this is, that. that's how we're going to, be using this calculator. So this is just a quick measure on how to do the Desmos Scientific Calculator.